My name is Steve Burke, and I'm making a unique documentary. It's a true story about money, politics, sex, and corruption, and it all takes place in Miami Beach. I'm a video producer, entertainer, and political activist, but I'm most known for my YouTube channel and music video parodies. Two years ago, I combined my activism with my YouTube channel, and I ran for mayor of Miami Beach. I use comedy and music video parodies as a way to reach new and disenfranchised voters. Are you really trying to claim that someone placed a document in front of you and you signed it without looking at it? And if you are claiming that, do residents deserve a mayor that signs papers without looking at the papers? I'm calling for your resignation, and if you consider resigning, I have the perfect resignation theme music for you. I present to you sexy sax man superstar Sergio Flores. <laughs> Because of my unique approach to politics, my campaign attracted a lot of press. After all, Steve Burke parodies campaign commercials on YouTube, raps about legalizing marijuana, and travels with an entourage of models. He certainly has captivated voters beyond Miami Beach. National media are now covering his run for office. Well, it may be the most unusual mayoral contest in the country right now. In fact, Miami Beach's race made the New York Times over the weekend. The attention also surrounds a candidate who's a comedian who may just have a chance to win it. As a grassroots candidate, I didn't have a lot of money, so I had to go out and meet as many residents as possible. Hi, do you want to vote for me? I'm running for mayor. No English. Uh, me llamo Steve Berke. A nice Yiddish boy. Yes, I am. Uh, correr por mayor. I actually have to kiss babies to be a politician. It would be my first baby that I kiss. So I'd love to meet your granddaughter. Mwah. Give me a high five. Yeah, that's right. I got your vote in 14 years, right? <laughs> Mucho gusto. All right, so I'm at the only nude beach in Miami. I'm about to go canvas for votes. Why? Because naked people vote too. Even celebrities started recognizing my efforts and supporting my campaign. Steve, you've got some fantastic attributes. And you'll go to extraordinary lengths to succeed. Steve Burke from Air, vote for him. Famous rappers and NBA superstars showed their support and attended my fundraisers. I ended up doing better than anyone thought. I got nearly 30% of the vote on election day and came in second out of four candidates. But during my run for mayor, I discovered what politics is really about, and I truly understood the meaning of the three little words that define American politics. Follow the money. You see, Miami Beach happens to be one of the most corrupt cities in America. Since I ran for office two years ago, we've had scandal after scandal after scandal. That is why I'm running for mayor again. Someone needs to put an end to this systematic culture of corruption. That certainly isn't the current candidates. Two of them are incumbents on the commission who allowed for all this corruption to take place under their watch. Now here's what my opponents are going to say. They're going to say that Steve Burke's not a serious candidate. That he's only the pro-pop guy. Or that he's just running for office so that he can make a movie. Well, let's be clear. They're only going to say these things because they are scared. Now here's what I'm going to say to my opponents. Shame on you. You're damn right I want to make a movie. And I want to do it just so I can expose your lies, your half-truths, your relationships with special interests. Aren't you tired of lawyers, career politicians, and the extremely rich being the only candidates running for office? Well, if you are, then please support this film. And I promise, you'll have an all-access pass to the most surprising and entertaining movie about the political process this century. But we can't make this film without your help. We need to raise $190,000 by July 22nd or the film won't have the necessary funding to get made. Now, just to be clear, 
You are not donating to my political campaign. You are helping fund this documentary. The deal is simple. You pre-purchase the DVD, the film gets made, and then you receive your DVD copy of Follow the Money when it's finished. But if you're willing and able to give more, we have an amazing selection of perks, ranging from t-shirts, to getting your picture in the opening credits of the movie, to getting your golf game caddied by two Playboy Playmates, to playing a set of tennis versus the Olympic gold medalists. But if we don't meet our Kickstarter goal by July 22nd, this movie isn't going to get made, and you won't be charged a dime. So please, help us make this groundbreaking documentary and follow the money you give all the way to the silver screen.